Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is tips number 862, entitled Drilling on the Lathe Using Power Feed. What I'm going to show you isn't really very practical to do, but it's just of interest, possibly. But if you had a lot of holes to drill that were large diameter, I mean like hundreds of them, this could really wear you out, drilling with the tailstock cranking in there. But there is a possibility of using power feed, not on the tailstock, but on the carriage. Now, a lot of turret lays have power feed on the turret. I used one many, many years ago, and that makes it pretty easy on a production basis. But here it's usually one of that we're doing in our basement shop. But let's take a look at this procedure anyway. I think I'll start by showing you how to hold the drill. Now, if you have smaller drill bits, rather than using this tool holder, I'll get back to that in a minute, you could use your Aloris or Dorian tool holder with a Jacobs drill chunk, and that would handle up to half inch drills, but that's too easy. I'm not gonna talk about that. We'll talk about these tool holders, that also Aloris, and this is an Aloris BXA5 and over here is a BXA53. This has a Morse taper hole of number three Morse taper. The smaller one is a number two. So we'll start by drilling five eighths holes. And that is how it's held. But there's a little setup that has to be done. First of all, we got to make darn sure that our tool post is square with the axis of the lathe, or I should say the face of the lathe chuck, or the face of the face plate, or whatever you have on there. It needs to be square. You could indicate that. That would be overkill. Let me show you the way that I normally use. Take any one of your tool holders, such as the one that I just showed you, put it on the tool post, and you can bring this up against the face of the chuck. Like that. Now, if it doesn't reach, let me reposition the camera. So with the nut loose here, that'll allow you to swivel or swing your tool post around, bring it up, and I've already done this, so I'm not going to loosen it again, so that the tool holder is butted up directly against the chuck, and then tighten it down. Now, if it will not reach, use a parallel here, because some of these tool holders will interfere with the jaws on the chuck. So that is square, and I just proved it. Again, you could use a dial indicator, but that would take so much time. Now next, we have to line up the drill perfectly with the center of the spindle, or the axis of the lathe. So how can you do that? There's several ways. The simplest, but only semi-accurate way is to take a bushing or a little part that you have that matches the diameter of the drill. So this is a 5 8 hole, and I know inch and a quarter on the outside, it doesn't matter, and I already have a similar piece in the chuck. So by just moving the cross feet in and out, line it up with the hole, but also we are worried about the height. That is this way. So you have to align it in two axes so that it, otherwise you're gonna get a crooked hole or it's not gonna start on center. So you wanna get that real accurate. So if you want it, perfect. You need to use an indicator, so let's do that real quickly. I'll just run through this. You've seen me use the coaxial many other times. I am using the Shars coaxial indicator, and let me chuck that up real quickly. And I've already got the stop rod on, and that will come down and strike the uh, carriage here so that the indicator will not revolve. Take a look at what we've got here. Again, the indicator stop rod is down here. That again keeps the indicator from spinning. And the probe of the indicator is in that number two Morse taper hole. Now that is a tapered hole, but that won't hurt a thing. 
and off camera I've already adjusted it height wise but I do have to check it for accuracy now in this axis so I'll do that live the other part is very similar to what I just showed you or will show you now you can use this indicator under power once you get in the ballpark and I'm fairly close right now as you can see so I'll turn the machine on and I think I'm at about 400 rpm that I'll slow it down to the slowest which will be about 360 Okay, I'm within a half a thousand, so I'm right on. Now, there's no way to lock this, although if you're going to do a lot of them, I would say tighten up the gibs. But make sure you do not bump your cranks here, because you will lose that position. I will now remove the coaxial indicator, mount the 5-8 drill, and I'm going to drill a hole, not all the way through, but just about halfway through this piece of inch and a quarter aluminum. So I'll set all that up off camera. Since this drill is not perfectly in line with this bolt right here, there's a tendency for this whole thing to want to turn as we power feed. So make sure that this nut is very tight. Since there is no pilot hole here, I'm going right in with a 5 8 which is not my usual practice, but I want it to find the true center, so I will bring it in by hand until it makes a little bit of an impression. Then I will engage the power feed, and I'm at about four or 500 RPM here, and the feed rate is 12 thousandths. That means that the drill is engaging with the work drilling at the rate of... Uh, 12 thousandths for every revolution of the spindle. Okay, power feed is engaged. And here's a view from this direction. Well, that's all the deeper I'm going to drill. This is strictly a concept type of video. Something that probably nobody will ever do. But if you had 50 of these to do, you could imagine that would be a pretty handy feature, wouldn't it? But the setup time is incredibly long and pretty critical that you get it right or you're going to have trouble your drill is just going to plow through there or you could break a drill or ruin your work or whatever but you need to set it up just as i showed you there and i do understand that most people do not have these various tool holders and i showed you all of the different tool holders i have for these machines in other videos so i hope you watch those I hope you enjoyed this little concept video just for the heck of it. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. Okay, power feed is engaged.